Japan. A land of ancient temples, bustling cities, and delicious food. In this 14 days itinerary, we'll take you on a journey through some of the most iconic locations in the country. From the vibrant streets of Osaka to the traditional neighborhoods of Kyoto, and from the snow-covered mountains of Nagano to the bright lights of Tokyo. Join us as we explore the best of what Japan has to offer. Now without further ado. This is how I spent 14 days in Japan. Our journey begins in Osaka, the second largest city in Japan and known for its delicious street food, lively atmosphere, and historical sites. From Osaka, we are heading to Nara, where we explore Nara Park, home to hundreds of friendly deers. From here we are taking a train ride to Kyoto, known for its traditional Japanese architecture, beautiful temples, Arashiyama bamboo forest, and the breathtaking Fushi Miyanari Shrine. From Kyoto, we'll take the train to Nogano, and visit the famous Snow Monkey Park. Watching the playful monkeys enjoying their natural habitat is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Last but not least we heading to Tokyo, where we will dive into the beauty of the largest city on Earth. We'll also take a day trip to Yokohama, home to the famous harbor and a thriving Chinatown with delicious food. The concluding day trip will take place at Mount Fuji, located just outside of Tokyo, which is a symbol of Japan and is considered one of the most beautiful mountains in the world, standing at 3,776 meters. Before we go back to Osaka airport to get back home, some information you will need before departure. Even though there are more and more acceptance of credit cards, Japan is still heavily relying on cash. My recommendation is to withdraw from the ATM at the airport you arrive at. Google Maps is your navigation app to go for. It is by far the most efficient way to move around. You just need to write down where you're going and it shows you all the details. From which exit you need to take to the wagon number, which will be the nearest to your exit. JR Railway Pass A JR Railway Pass is a ticket that allows tourists to travel on most JR trains in Japan, including the Shinkansen and most JR lines. The Japan Rail Pass can be bought for 7, 14, or 21 consecutive days. You can determine whether a pass is worthwhile for you by visiting the website I've linked below. Subway Pass at the airport or at any tourist information place, you can buy a 24 hours, 2 days or 3 days Kansai through pass, which allows you to use most of the subway lines in Osaka. And it gives you a discount on most of the attractions around, such as Osaka Castle. In Tokyo, you can buy basically the same type of pass, but for Tokyo only. Suica Card or Pasmo Card Suica is a card that you can charge and use for all subway lines and buses around Japan as well as pay for your drinks at vending machines. Lastly, we are breaking down how much we spent on this trip at the end of the video. So you have an idea how much you gonna spend. After checking into our hotel, we take our first day easy, and just go around and explore the streets of Osaka. Some of the most picturesque streets I have ever seen. The next morning, we started our journey with the Osaka Castle. Built in the 16th century, this grand fortress offers a breathtaking glimpse into the past. Next up, we're heading to the Umeda Sky Building, an observation deck that offers panoramic views of the city. This towering skyscraper offers some of the best views of Osaka, and it's definitely not to be missed. In the evening, explore the Dotenbori area, known for its vibrant nightlife and delicious street food.
Try some okonomiyaki, a traditional Japanese pancake. There are many good places. After the delicious food take your time to digest and take a stroll along the Dotenbori River. Next, explore Shinsekai, an old neighborhood in Osaka known for its retro atmosphere. Take a walk around the area and see the iconic Tsutunkoku Tower and the colorful arcade games. On your third day in Osaka, visit the Osaka Aquarium and see the sea creatures of Japan and the world, from giant sharks to adorable sea otters. The aquarium is one of the largest in the world and a perfect place to spend a day. From Osaka, we took the limited express train to Nara to the famous Nara Park. You can easily reach it by walking. Here you'll find many seeker deer, considered sacred in Japan. Just be careful what you feed them though. Next to the park is the Tadaiji Temple a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the largest wooden structures in the world. It was truly a unique and fun experience that is not to be missed. From Nara, we'll make our way to Kyoto, the cultural heart of Japan. This city is home to some of the most beautiful temples, shrines, and traditional neighborhoods in the country, and we'll be spending the next three days exploring it all. After checking into our hotel, we headed to explore the Jayan area, known for its traditional geisha culture and beautiful temples. Since the shops are closing at this time at 5 pm we had the whole area to ourselves. Take a walk around the streets and see the beautiful traditional Mashiya houses in the moonlight. Here some of my best shots. The next morning we went to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest, which is one of the most beautiful natural sites in Kyoto. That feels a world away from the city. We recommend going early since it can get crowded very quickly. Afterward, we took in the beauty of Kinkakuji Castle, a stunning temple. This Zen temple is covered in gold leaf and is a beautiful example of Japanese architecture. Next, Kiyomizu Dera, a Buddhist temple that offers a breathtaking view of the city. It was a spot that was definitely worth a visit. On our last day in Kyoto, we woke up very early to hike the Fushimi Inari Teisha, a Shinto shrine with thousands of Torii gates. A beautiful place straight out of a picture. The hike can take you about two hours. After the exhausting hike, we went back to the Jayan area for a special Starbucks place. This Starbucks is built with a traditional Japanese design. It is a must-visit spot. Then stroll around the beautiful traditional Japanese architecture.
Next on our list is Nogano. Nogano is a mountainous prefecture known for its natural beauty. From here you can take a day trip to Jigokudani Park also known as the Snow Monkey Park, where you can see wild Japanese macaques bathing in hot springs. From Nogano, you can take the Shinkansen to Tokyo. bustling capital of Japan. You will be immediately diving into the hustle and bustle of the city. After we arrived at our hotel, we headed directly to the Shibuya area to experience its iconic busy crossing, shopping, and nightlife. The next day, we decided to make a day trip from Tokyo to Mount Fuji and the Five Lakes. It is our chance to experience the natural beauty of Japan and witness the iconic mountain and its surroundings. Whether you hike to the summit, take a boat ride, or just relax by the lake, you're sure to have a memorable experience and create lasting memories. If you still have some power left after you go back to Tokyo, you need to visit the Shibuya Sky Building for a panoramic view of the city. Start the next day by exploring the Harajuku area to see the unique fashion and shopping scene. Take a visit to the Okihabara area, known for its vibrant electronics and pop culture scene. Visit the Team Lab Planets Tokyo, a breathtaking and interactive digital art exhibit. Spend the day exploring the Shinjuku area, one of the largest entertainment, shopping, and dining areas in Tokyo.
end the day with a visit to the Tokyo Tower at night to see the city light. While you are here check out the nearby Zojoji Temple, a historic temple with a beautiful gate, and delicious street food at night. We took the time, and went for a day trip to Yokohama. One of the most popular attractions in Yokohama is its Chinatown, which is the largest in Japan and one of the largest in Asia. Start your last full day with a visit to the Art Aquarium Museum, a unique art exhibit showcasing a blend of aquarium and art. It is a place to admire the beauty of goldfish and the art of illumination. Spend some time exploring the Rapongi Hills, an iconic shopping and entertainment complex with a 360-degree view of the city. End the trip with a visit to the Sensoji Temple at night to see it lit up and surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the city. Now, as promised here our cost breakdown. Don't miss out on future videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always in the loop.